a sachet sustainable? What is sachets? Sachets are small and low price unit packages containing edible or non-edible products. Sachet Reason concept was introduced under FMCG to attract consumers in developing regions of its affordability and high portability. It's found across categories such as in food and beverages, household cleaning and beauty care. Since all of you know what sachets are, let's ask the public. Yes, so um, good morning, sir. So, you know it's sachet, sachet packaging. Right. Do you know what is uh, sachet products? No. Sachet products? Uh? Uh, no, no idea. Oh, no idea. Okay, so essentially, let, let me tell you. Yeah. So, sachet packaging is essentially like those products that they sell in like smaller forms, smaller portable forms, mm -hmm. like um, see any goods in the form of these sachets. Mm -hmm. so, so. You sachets, let's find out why. Let's explore the motives of consumer in developing countries. Ah! Itchy! Time to wash my hair. Uh, no money. Due to living in a lower pyramid where they cannot afford full-size products, it opens an opportunity market for the organization to venture in. Oh, over. Fifty percent over. Time to wash this product. Uh, wash my hair. Think and purchasing power. They are drawn into thinking that smaller is cheaper. Ooh, shampoo, that's what I need. Oh, very cheap. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, fifteen percent discount. Time to wash my hair. Ooh. Tea. Tea. Mango. Okay, bye. Hey uncle, why you only got small product? Ah? Don't have big one. Ah? Uh, yeah, boy, you don't know. Issues in storage and transportation. Small retailer shops will not be able to have a space to take in big and bulky products. Also, it does not have developed transportation system to carry bigger size products. Similarly, household does not have a proper conditions to store products for a long period of time. My shop is uh, too small to put all the big, big ones. Uh, I only put the small one. Uh, yeah, huh? My shop no money buy the truck. We buy the small car, you know, small car. Uh, and we can only put the small one. Uh, and uh, the customer all don't want the big one. They only want the small uh, one. Uh, my small one now, uh, okay? Hey, now, uh, hey, one dollar. Uh, okay, bye-bye, <laughs> Security to move around often due to wars and disaster, hence it's more feasible to purchase sachets. <laughs> All ready to run. <laughs> As for consumer in developed countries. Aga, don't take the one one ah. it's mine okay? Don't eat too many, just take one. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm, I just have one. Should I or should I not? Portion control. In rise of health awareness, task consumers will tend to purchase their snacks in smaller packaging. Hmm. One more. One more. It's so small. Oh, it doesn't do any harm. Maybe I should. No, don't eat it. Hmm. Try or not? Just one more. No. Two, one Just, more. No. One more. One. Okay. One. One. Okay. 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 Mm. Oh, you. 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 Oh,
Very good, really. Try. Really? Yes. Ah, uh, I don't want, don't want. No, 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 come down. Because my skin, way. I don't know, I cannot take it. Ah. Then yeah. we got sample size. Trial purchase. Increases in risk if the product does not meet with consumer's preference. Cost of money would be significantly less than buying the larger units. Try already. Two dollars only, very cheap. You try. Mm. Very nice, you come back buy from me. You sure? Yes, very okay. sure. Okay, bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Hey, you. Why you buy this kind of fun size one instead of mine? Household size. Due to urbanization and people having smaller families, they will tend to purchase small size products. Size one instead of mine. Uh, my household very small. You got me, myself, uh, my kids, and my husband. So we must buy this. So that uh, can feed my kids easier and then also uh, cheaper, you know, to buy then more variety. Hey, but buy the big one, uh, always very fast no for me. Are consumers aware of how consumption of sachets product can affect the environment? Well, like the environment impacts that the sachet has. You guys. A lot of waste. A lot of waste. No idea. No idea. Okay, so for me, I will show you a few pictures. Uh. So, these are like some of the impacts. Uh. This is like the waste. Uh -huh. like, it contributes a lot of waste because it's like a lot of plastic. Uh, yeah. What about the organization? How has Sachet's products impacted them? Alright, so let's begin the meeting now. Okay, so let's start the meeting with the financial performance of the year. So as you can see, ever since we introduced our Sachet packaging during the first quarter, our financial performance has increased tremendously. So... <laughs> But boss, during this period of time, our brand reputation actually fell tremendously as well. And this is because some environmentally conscious consumers complained that our Sachet packaging was unsustainable and caused more damage to the environment. So, tell me more about it. While it has provided the citizens with many benefits, Sachet packaging has also created a waste nightmare. For example, in Philippines, for every 15 tons of garbage generated, there's approximately 1,500 kilograms worth of empty sachets. And this is because sachet manufacturing is not sustainable. Although the packaging is made of a thin film of plastic and aluminium, they are in a sandwich laminated form and is difficult to recycle. Moreover, many communities refuse to become holes to landfills which hinder their national development due to the lack of space. Hence, this contributes to the ecological or carbon footprint because the huge amount of waste has to be incinerated and the incineration process produces a lot of greenhouse gases and this contributes to global warming. Furthermore, sachet waste also endangers the water supply due to contamination as well as clogged drainage pathways and exacerbates flood conditions, endangering the livelihoods of humanity living in sachet consuming regions. So what can be done then to solve this problem? ...that our group is proposing. First, education. Government and organisations can help to spread the awareness about the environmental impacts that this sachet has as well as to educate them about how to recycle these sachets. This is especially so in LDCs because many of them do not have the basic knowledge about such topics. Our second recommendation. Another possible solution is to improve the waste management and recycling systems. So, how can this be done? Governments in less developed countries can carry out this initiative by placing more waste and recycling bins around the community. This will not only improve accessibility to these bins, but will also encourage consumers to dispose their waste correctly. Our third recommendation. Another possible solution is to use innovation. Using technologies, companies can explore new ways to reduce the raw materials used in their packaging as well as to use more environmental friendly materials. Another aspect that they can look into is refillable sachets. Refillable sachets can help to reduce the raw materials being used and thus generating less waste. Companies can also look into investing in special techniques to convert these sachet wastes into very useful products. One such example is Unilever, who has created a technique called pyrolysis, which helps them to convert their sachet wastes into fuel so that they can use it in their production process. Consumers has also come up with many ways to use sachet waste into making everyday products such as bags and clothes and even to build houses. Sachet waste has contributed to pollution and it is a cause of concern for all. To minimize the negative environmental impact, 
the effort of all stakeholders are required. Shit.